All right, I went to the room of requirement after I left I the... I don't have anything for this at the moment. After I left the uh, dormitory. I'm just going to check on my plants. I don't think I need any potions. All right, so I've already gotten what I could get, I guess. Now, I did receive, after I um, logged out, I received Outpost. So this is from Caretaker Moon. I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts Caretaker. So we're going to go and visit him. We also got an owl post from Natty's mom. Please see me after class once you have completed the task I have set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo. Useful for pulling objects to the ground, Professor Onai. So we do have some classes to attend today. We finally got Beast, the Beast class, on our schedule, and we um, need to revisit Professor Garlic and Professor Kagawa. We completed their extra credit assignments. So we're going to start with Beast class because we haven't done that yet. Let's go on out there. And see what that's about. And we're going to have to change it to daytime. All right, here we go. Hello, good morning, everybody. Oops, begin. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> mm, I don't think You can I use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. I don't want to get too close to Gerald. I don't want to tongue up my nose. Let's see. We're going to pop it in an empty slot. Okay, Gerald. Be nice. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. Yay. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Okay, beast feed. All right, Gerald, let's have a little sneaky snack. Oh, what yeah. What do you suppose the pellets taste ready. like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. He was ready for that. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, 
Do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Oh, boy. Oh, they're interesting looking. Oh, couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> uh, 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 stupid thing. Uh, 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 what in Merlin's uh, name are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's oh, really not funny. You need to quit. Don't back up that Slytherin play. <sighs> Let's go. We're not like that. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. I agree. Poachers in training. Oh. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. There we go. Oh, I have to get... Let me choose the, a different one. They can't eat and be brushed at the same time, apparently. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good! You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Will do. Hey, oh. over here. Come on. Yes, Poppy? Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Okay. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Okay, Poppy. You know, we've been hearing her name. I wouldn't take just anyone there. All In term. fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. Yeah, she's kind of <gasps> pop famous. Quite the weather we're having. Don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. 
Yeah, Poppy's name has come up a lot. So... Stand back. That's a hippogriff. Please meet High Wing. Poppy has Isn't a hippogriff. She's just magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. We remember what Hagrid said. We bow and wait for them to bow back. Okay. May Robbie rest in peace as I well. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Well, I, I don't know her that well, but <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> Poppy. Okay, hi, Wing. Nice meeting you. So, what did you think of High Wing? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety, and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. Hmm. Um... Suspicious? That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. That sounds dangerous. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. The poachers seem a dangerous lot. They don't scare me. Besides, I'd do anything to keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. It's a date. So, Poppy and Daddy are on a mission. <laughs> I hope I can help out. All right, so um, I think I want to go and do Caretaker Moon's um, little quest because then I'll be able to unlock doors. Um, let's see what's the closest. Is that the closest? I thought we had opened up. Um, something closer to him, I guess not. Let's go ahead and do the viaduct cur courtyard then. We still have a lot of flu flames to ignite. I need to do more running around. I really do. 
All right, where is he? Because he hangs out right next to a flu flame. But I haven't ignited it yet. All right, let's go see Mr. Moon. to change the time. Okay. Hello, Mr. Moon. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. It was. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Sure. Do you see that curious statue over there? Yes. Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Dimmy guy's moon. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. All right. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. That's Someone, true. it seems, is trying to torment me. Aww. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes, terrifying creature. My goodness, future, wholly <laughs> unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion oh. as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why okay. me? Okay. A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. Yeah. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Okay. Well, I know what's in it for me. I'd be glad to help you, <laughs> Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However, will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? you? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. 
Oh, those were the days. <laughs> Bless uh, his now, heart. You'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. All right, Aloha Mora. Let's get this one. This is important. All right. Yay. I really wanted that. <laughs> and in story Hello. mode, you don't even have to do the work. You just hit F. It auto solves. Well uh, done. You're in. Remember, use a disillusionment I charm am. so no one claps eyes on you. I this am. is a restricted area of the castle after all. All right. All right. Chill. 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 I was just changing toolbars. Okay. Gotta hug the corners like in the restricted section of the library. Okay. How are your students getting along this year? Rather poorly, I'd say. Don't Is that them so? to see us? I don't know about um, Sharp, but if he's like Snape, he'll know I'm here, even though I have a disillusionment charm on. He could even feel Harry under the invisibility cloak. Okay, so i am got to pass up that. I'll have to come back. Oh, no, I won't. He's leaving. I'm going to get it. Love you, sir. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and grab it since he left. Okay, now this, I believe, is the prefect. This prefix. must be the prefect's bathroom. Yes. All right. Hello, Amora. And Autosol. Okay, the infamous prefect's bathroom. With the bubbles. Always mucking about. And the mermaid mural. Pearls. Okay, if I go slow enough. I don't think that's what that class is for. I should be okay. Why don't you leave goblins alone, troll? I'm a prefect too, Listen to them arguing. Fifty health points. You know you can't do that. Okay, they're... Let me be careful. They're arguing, but they're not that distracted. See, look. He's coming this way. Oh, no. If you get caught, you have to start all over. Okay. All right. Where'd he go? Did he go out? No, he didn't. Where are you? I think I'm going to have to go around this way. They went out, but he didn't. He's over there looking at the mermaid. Help me, mermaid. Distract him. Yes, perfect. She did. <laughs> you swear she heard me. He started looking right at her. All right. One down, one to go. Okay. So. So that's the prefect's bathroom. Now I got to get up to the hospital wing. All right. This one's a little tighter. Okay, let's. All right. Oh, and I leveled up. Okay. So. Begin my rounds now. Okay, she's going to do her rounds. Let's be still. She's going to her little break room. But that still leaves Professor Hackett and Professor Garlic. I 
suppose Professor Black knows best, but the students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? Not Ravenclaw? I know when I see a wind. I want that page so bad. I hope it doesn't get me caught. No, I'm still in I'm still invisible. Okay. All right. Pushing my luck. Really pushing my luck. Let's get on out of here. Go back to Mr. Moon. The whole of the human condition. Uh, how's that? Well, all of the teamwork and uh, flying about and the golden snitch. Rather a lot. All right. Let's see, can we uh, fast travel back down to him? He should be next to a flu flame now. We didn't light one up when we were down there. I thought we got one when we were down there. Oh, pish posh. Hmm. I guess um, because this is a quest, I can't use any of those little tricks. <laughs> I have to use disillusionment and make my way back without getting caught. Revelio. <sighs> and see, this is an area I wasn't able to get into before, so there's lots of pages and stuff. Chests loot, chest, everything. Cause this was locked before. Alright, Mr. Moon. I'm almost out. I'm almost safe. One more prefect. Oh! Yeah. Oops, I missed. Okay, if he just keeps his back turned, I should be able to slither around this post again. Okie dokie. Reminder to staff, the house war Hogwarts house elves do an exceptional job of keeping the castle in order. They are seldom unprepared for any number of items that they might encounter each day. However, only the other day an unexpected stash of wizarding crackers went off from behind a cushion. The cacophony was most untoward, engulfing one poor elf in blue smoke and giving those of us nearby an abominable ringing in our ears for the rest of the day. I expect that the culprit was Peeves. Please keep an eye out and be careful. Matilda Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Almost there. A couple more feet. All right, we did it. Okay, where's number one? Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped! An excellent start! Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. I'm glad to help. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. 
You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Sounds like a plan. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. All right. So we know that we have seen. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. We saw one in Professor Fig's room. We saw one in. We've seen a lot of them. So let's just quickly go back to the classrooms. Let's see. We're in the faculty tower. Let's go to Defense Against the Dark Arts. I think there's one in there. But I think it's behind her locked door, and I'm not sure if it's a level one door or a level two door. Oops. Huh. We need to do that. I thought I'd selected Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. They're still fighting. Oh my goodness. Oh, I picked the tower. My bad. You do have to click carefully. Can end up in the wrong place. In the gigantic castle. Okay, let's just double check and see if she has a level one or a level two or three lock. She has a level two. So if she has one in her office, we can't get to it. Now, did we do any special assignments for her? No, Garlic, Onai, and Kagawa. All right, wasted trip. Um, who else can we go to? Professor Fix definitely got one in his office. And I think Professor Sharp had one in his office too, in potions. Let's pop up here. We know his isn't locked. Mind now, Demi guys. All right, we're not going to bother him right now. He's deep in thought. And we have classes to take before we move on in the main quest. We need to power up some more. All right, so I know there's one in Sharp's potions class. Um, Transfiguration classroom. I'm not sure. We'll go to charms first. There was one in most of the teachers' rooms, and then there's quite a few in Hogsmeade, which I'll probably get the Hogsmeade ones off camera because I'll be running around all over town. All right. I haven't taken Transfiguration, so. Oh, we did have one class. I I get confused because I've played so many different characters. This is Charms. But I'm not sure I did take Transfiguration yet. So, we can unlock Hello, his Laura. office now. And I think there's one in his office. Let's go see. There's a chest. It didn't say she didn't talk to it to any guys. That's how you always know when there's one. I guess there's not one in his office. So we'll need to go to potions next. Let's see what's upstairs. Oh, they do love their spiral staircase in this game. <laughs> there's so many of them. Oh no, it's almost daylight. Oh darn. 
level two. It's almost daylight. We're not going to be able to get any more, probably. Let's see, can we quickly get the potions? What was what tower? What's potions in Ravenclaw? Great Hall. Library Annex. There's one in the Divinations Tower, but that's quite the climb. And we have to go and meet Professor Onai as it is, so we won't get that one right now. Oh, don't let the time run out. Come on, come on, we gotta go while it's still night. Gotta go while it's still dark. Alohomora. Now his office is locked. I guess it was unlocked because class was in session. He doesn't have one? I could have sworn he had one. He doesn't. Hmm. I thought we saw one there. Is it over here somewhere? No. There's an awful lot of students in here, so I probably can't get it anyway. I think the time has... I think we've passed midnight or whatever. Yeah, there's not one in here. Could have sworn he had one as well. Oh well. Faulty memory. So we got a few. Um, and that's just an ongoing quest. We need to give him nine. I think we just uh, got four. I think we have four now. We just picked up, oh, he took the ones we had, that's right. So we only have the two additional ones we just got. He took the ones we had. Okay, so we're going to um, go ahead and go to class. We're going to go with the greenhouse first. And go and see Professor Garlic and get one more spell from her. It's always good to go to class, be a studious student, get our Dittany again. Okay, then we're going to change the time. And we're going to make that our active quest. Flipendo. We need for her to teach us Flipendo. We need that for some of the Merlin's trials. We're, let's see, she's not in this one, she's in this one. Hello, Professor Garland. Perhaps a hybrid. Bouncing tentacular. I finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Yes. Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. All right, let's do it. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. All right, let's put that on the toolbar. Flippendo. Let's replace those treats. We don't need those treats. Wonderfully done! If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. Yes, ma'am. Flipendo, look at that. You're a natural. Yay! Awesome! Okay, so now we want to go see Professor Kagawa. We completed her extra. 
Giglacius. That's a good one. We're going to need it in some of our uh, adventures. How have I not gotten this flu flame yet? Okay, and it looks like she's up and about. Those are four spells. How did you get on with those tasks? Hold on a second. Marvelous news that you will be joining the faculty at Hogwarts as our new flying instructor. I dare say our work together at Hogwarts will be less eventful than our time near Yokohama Harbor, though one never knows. I shall look forward to seeing you soon. If you have any questions in the meantime, please do not hesitate to send me an owl. Regards, Matilda Weasley. So they was wild in their youth. Okay. All right. She had a locked... Does she have a locked... I think she has a locked door downstairs. Okay. Sorry. Madam Kogawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? I did. Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. No, if thank Black you. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. I don't know why they throw that letter F in there. It's just so awkward to go to the keyboard after you're working with the mouse. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office. All right, Glacios. We're taking it out into the world. Sounds good. Glacios, there you go. Catching them quickly. Oh, well, there's something else over here. I'm writing to... I'm writing to do Professor Black's decision to cancel Quidditch. As you know, joining a professional Quidditch team is my utmost dream, and I believe my chances will now be ruined or at least significantly thwarted. Professor Weasley insists that we must defer to the headmaster, and she encouraged me to practice on my own. I have devised some challenging trials for myself, but it's not at all the same as practicing on the pitch. Nothing is. Please, could I ask that you speak to the headmaster or to Professor Weasley? I should be miserable my whole life if I can't play Quidditch properly for this entire year. Thank you, Professor. Amelda Reyes. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's level two. Okay. All right. Yeah, we know how Amelda, Amelda feels about her flying and, and whatnot. All right. So I think we have one more class. Yes, Professor Onai. Oh, not, not yet. We have to do Depulso on a Levitated Enemy. Okay. All right. So um, that leaves us back to our main mission, which is going to be visiting with Serona and trying to get an inside track with the with one of the um, goblins. So we're going to pop on over to Hogsmeade first. Let's upgrade. Oh, 49. Then we'll be ready also to sell off all these extras. All the extra pieces of gear that we have on hand. Wait a minute. Oh, we do. I want to make sure we have the legendary one selected. Okay, and we have 2,262 galleons. I don't know if Alfie, let me check his letters. Did he tell us he had a second upgrade? No, he's only done one all upgrade because his upgrades are like a thousand. So I would want to spin that if he was going to be able to uh, give me another upgrade on my broom. 
All right, so we've got the maximum of those. Oh, we need get ancient magic as much as we can. Um, hmm. Let's see about our stealth. Petrificus. Okay, this is what we wanted. This will take out, like, if there's two goblins standing next to each other, this Petrificus Totalis will take them both out. That's what I've been wanting to work my way up to. So, off to Hawk Speed. Let's go to the three broomsticks. And then we'll go to Glad Rags and sell the extra gear. <laughs> Serona! Are you busy? Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. It seemed as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lord Gok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. Oh dear. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Yeah, I will, Serona. Thank you. Now, Serona had some goodies up here, too, that were under lock and key. Now I can unlock them. Let's see, she had... I hope they're level 1. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're level 1 or level 2. That's the exit. Let's keep going. What do we have here? Demi guys. Oh, I don't want to change the time. I'd have to come back for it. Alohomora. There's a lot of them in um, Hogsmeade, so I'll try to get them all in one trip. It's to 
too early in the day for him. All right, so we're going to head on down to the Hogshead. Not my favorite locale, but um, a necessary evil on this trip. Now let's see. They're down here and down the stairs. That's the tombs and it's the bookstore. That's the potions. There's their little dock. Where's their front door? Here we go. Welcome to the Ogs Head. Any empty seat is yours. Thank you. There's a Timmy Guides in Hello, here, Lord too. Hello, Lord Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Serona trusts me, and she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Hmm. If I retrieve the relic, how do I know you'll tell me the truth about what Ranrock says? We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Okay. Hmm. Not too sure I want to work with him, but Hello. it's part of the main story. Good to see story. you outside the castle. You too, Amit. Hey, Amit. I didn't even see him. That's pretty cool. I think that's the first time that's happened. That another student um was also walking around when I was. That's very cool. Okay, um, I was going to Glad Rags, right? Here's Zonko's. I need to go to Glad Rags. I think I made a bad turn. Did I? No, here, here's the post office. Owl post. So Glad Rags has to be around here somewhere. There's Honey Dukes. It's weird. I can always see it from. A different direction. Um, <laughs> I was listening to them. Indispensable. I'd be set for life. Not to worry. I like bacon. I'd take up herbology if it didn't involve so much dumb. A spot of failure is a good thing. Character. Work hard. Let's give him a tip. I hear you. You have my thanks. You're welcome. I had plenty of opportunities. Okay, there's flat rags. I always run right past it when I come up that um staircase. Hengist of Woodcock certainly knew. Before you ask, I'm all out of the new socks, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. There's another day. Black Clementine's finally lost her obsession with those infernal butterflies. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Clementine was on to something. I know you all think she's crazy. But she led me to treasure. So, don't be talking about my friend Clemmy. Oh. 
Where'd I get that? I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop. Where'd I get that hat? I thought I had checked everything. Uh, the Mad Hatter. She just, uh, she looks cuter in hats now with the new haircut, but we're not going to wear that one. But it definitely is a better look for her than that other, than her original hairstyle. All right. Ready for your perusal today. I know. Take I your time. Have, I just want to sell you this $200 hat. That is all. Thank I you I suspect so you have a sharp eye for fashion. Thank Be sure you to so stop by much. whenever you're about. Yeah, there's Demi guys in here on the other counter. I think that's it.